Hey, buddy. So nice guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far, and welcome back for more prominence. You know, I think we're gonna get the heck out of here until we figure out how the hell this place works and how to find a conjunctivitis. I feel like we've got quite a lot of stoops, quite a lot of stuff and things. So let's uh, let's let's get the heck out of here. We'll leave a waystone because we don't have a choice, and uh, and then and then we'll go to our other waystone that we accidentally left somewhere and continue exploring from a random place. Sounds good to me. Alrighty, all right. Well, let's go. Some nuts guy. Grab gaming by the nuts. All right, so we're back home. We sorted out our inventory, and we are going to do a thing that I thought we had tried, but apparently not, because you can, in fact, affix relics to gear. It's a permanent process, so we're just going to do some basic stuff for now because 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 I don't have like mending and all that good stuff. So we're, this, we got some basic. This is a rare one with twenty seven percent strength, pretty deep good. An uncommon one with only thirty one percent strength. So I imagine that these aren't amazing. I imagine these are sort of mid tier. They got good rolls, but obviously if you had an immortal one with the same rolls and other stats on top, that would be better. So I'm hoping to find things that I are, are better than that at some point and increases the durability. It repairs them. So we're looking pretty good now. I wonder if there's legs and boots. In fact, we can probably check, right? Nope, looks like there's only chests and helmets. Interesting. Okay, well, um, in that case, hopefully we find some better legs and helmets. I mean, boots and ch I mean, <laughs> chests and helmets <laughs> at some point. Where's our heart, guys? Where's, where, where's our heart? Um, <laughs> we got our shit sorted now, so let's let's go sleep and and, and get out adventuring, <laughs> bro. Oh yeah, and I've been told that we can pick up villagers, so we're gonna go test and figure out how that works. Because if we can make a, a, a villager place and and we can just like get librarians, then it'll be incredibly easy for us to get all the enchants and stuff we need. So honestly, it seems like we might as well do that. There's no reason to not do that, and we might as well get. The ball rolling with that. Oh, I can't even see my eyes. <laughs> so this is the waystone that I accidentally left here. I did not mean to leave this here at all. I meant to take this with me. Um, but uh, but also there's some emeralds still here, and I now have the silk touch pickaxe, so we could actually grab these and save those for later. There's quite a few here actually. This is the only useful thing in this place is that it has a bunch of emerald uh, ores underneath, but they're kind of a pain to get, and. Uh, I don't have fortune yet, so I'm, I'm not going to bother getting too many of them. Now, someone said we can pick up villagers. I'm going to assume that it's going to be with an empty hand and right click of some kind. However, I'm not 100% I'm not certain. Also, if it's with the carry on mod, crouch, crouch and right click, shift, right click. It's not working. So there's two mods that I'm aware of that allow you to pick up villagers. There's the easy villagers, which I, doesn't seem like is in here. No, and there's the carry-on mod, but the carry-on mod only allows you to carry baby people. Hmm. So whoever in the comments told me I can pick up villagers, tell me, tell me how. <laughs> how do I, how do I do this? Oh my god, you silly Billy. Huh, I don't have a bucket. I'm a silly Billy. So in Dawncraft, there's a cage box you can use, but I don't think there's any, I don't think any of these cages will allow you to pick up villagers. There isn't the cart like in RL Craft. Hmm. Are oh, you going to die? Evangelina. Oh my God. I'm such a silly Billy. You can pick them up with the carry on mod. You can pick up with the carry-on mod, but it's not the button I'm used to using for the carry-on mod. I am such a goofy boy. Um, Alright, so I can pick up villagers. Can I go through waystones with them in my hands? That's uh, that's another question to be answered. Alright, I think uh, I think we'll sort out villagers. I mean, we might as well get started with it, man, to be honest. We might, we might as well. Hmm. Doesn't seem like we'll be able to use the waste stone with them in our hand. Which makes sense. 
So there's no particularly easy way to transport them because you walk really slowly when you're holding them in your hands as well. So with that in mind, we're not going to sort these guys out right now. We will do this another time. Fortunately, we do have a couple of villages nearby. Oh, oh, Whew, that was close. And I forgot to pull out my umbrella. In fact, there's water right there anyway. So probably didn't matter. However, I thought we were about to die. Man, I'm just thinking about it. And we can literally do everything better if we can get enchants. Uh, and we do actually have uh, villagers uh, nearby our base as well. So we'll do a little bit of exploring and then we'll suck it up and go sort out villagers. Hey, look, another prison portal. I mean, yeah, we literally, our house is here and we literally have a village here and here. It's really not that far. I could even put them in a boat and just row them there. I kind of wonder if the Ender Dragon is, like, souped up or if it's a normal Ender Dragon. Because if it's normal and we can get some good enchants, then we kind of can just go uh, go ahead and do that. And then we get ourselves some Shulker, some Elytra. You know, I gotta start looking into the mods as well. There's there's a few mods that I... I, I learned Batania once, but it was long enough ago that I completely forgot it. All I remember about Batania is that it was a pain in the ass to learn. So, uh, I'm not really looking forward to relearning that. <laughs> However, there are some cool stuff. There's actually... I like flying. Being able to fly is nice. And there's a jet suit. It requires Calorite. Blocks, what mod is this from? A oh, this is from Ad Astra. Okay. So, I want to learn how to do this. I want to I wanna learn this space stuff, you know? But, uh, you know, that'll be for another episode as well, I think. Interesting looking little biome. Basalt Barrera. Oh, I got something that gave a new recipe. What was it? Prismarine? Oh, I thought I already had Prismarine. A epic, but not so epic relic. Okay. Is that Calorite? Oh. Huh. Well, what do you know? If it is, we might as well collect. Wow. This is a cool little ravine. Oh, wow, it goes it out so far, dude. Yeah, I'm still not used to the new cave generation. I know it's not that new anymore. Crimsite. No, this is Create. That is not what we're looking for, damn you. It looks very similar. It looks very similar. Another one of these chests. Oh, it's got a, a suspicious eye. Apparently, the key fragments that I found... Are the things that we need to make the the mimic pen? So we gotta we gotta definitely do that. And my inventory is full of crap. Oh wait a minute. Oh, it has Endry mastered. So we'll have to get twelve of these special eyes. Crap. Well, I guess that means that's probably a little ways off. Um, and I actually need the coral from that, which I assumed I could throw away, but apparently I need for an eye. Okay, this is gonna be a pain. <laughs> you know, I was thinking I might not need an Emmy system because there's probably not gonna be that much stuff, but it's looking like there might be a lot of stuff. So I guess we shall see. Emmy system? A system. Applied Energistics, right? Oh god, I'm gonna have to relearn all this stuff. You know, last time I learned these things, it was on the stream as well. And I have to say, it's easier to learn these things on stream because I got you guys in chat that know what the hell's going on. Teach me. I'm kind of concerned about having to learn them myself <laughs> without having someone to ask questions to. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. Oh, advancement made. Jump. I jumped. What, do I, what? 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 What's down here? You good? What's special about this? Why is it made from bedrock? Kind of weird. Oh no! They've got an iron golem in a cage. That's quite sad. How dare you, pillagers? How dare you? I'm kind of concerned about the axe boys. They they hit very hard. So I'm going to be somewhat wary of them. I'm going to start grabbing this uranite as well. I might... And I might... I might need this. To power stuff. 
In fact, if I want to create space stuff, I imagine I will need power, huh? So yeah, we'll start grabbing some of this uranite. I think it can be fortuned. I don't actually have any idea. So we're just going to pick it up in case. My friend! My friend, be free! Be free! Be free and wreak havoc amongst them. Go! Yeah, get him! Get him! Ha 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 ha! Dickhead! Kapow! Ouchie. You shoot at me. Voluntary exile. Yeah, so I've got the uh, debuff now, huh? I wonder what raids are like in this. Ooh, a goat horn. Amazing. Seven intelligence and five armor. Seven intelligence is a decent decent amount, so I might uh, might keep that actually. Encyclopedia of Eden. I think you can make these usually pretty easily. Can't you? No? Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll keep it. Hmm. Goat horn. Has this got any uses? You can make a goat trophy. I see. So no is the answer. Doesn't have any uses. And then another village. I feel like the only structures we're finding are villages. Oh, some loot over there, though. Wee! I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. That's not gonna get old. I am going to keep doing that reference. These planks are annoying. You can't build, like, regular things out of them. Alright, so what do we got here? Oh, some oil. Huh. So I just made two buckets. Oh, you know, I didn't need to make two, did I? Because I have backpack liquid storage. Could have just made one. Oh, that's handy. Well, I guess I might as well... I don't have any other liquids that I need to store, so I might as well... Bring as much of this oil back as possible. I'm sure it's useful. How do I put this water away? Get out of here, water. Oh, this whole thing's oil. All right, well, we got a decent amount of oil there. Well, I actually don't know what constitutes a decent amount of oil. We have some oil there. So that's good. Uh, a epic but crappy relic. Bread. Great, dude. Bunch of iron armor, which I guess will smelt down, but I think you only get nuggets for smelting it. Yeah, you can make fiery... How do I get fiery blood? You only get one nugget. It's kind of rude. So fiery nugget was Twilight Forest. God, I have so much to learn in this pack, that's for sure. Oh, some boats. Should we go check out the boats? What the heck? What grows deep under the sea? Collect a mermaid's gem. What? I was just boating. Why has this got a weird name? Collect a mermaid's gem? I literally just... Hello? Mermaid? Huh. Okay. Oh, look at this. A little structure. How do I get out of the boat? I'm already out of the boat. <laughs> Silly me. Huh, some stuff. Paladin leggings. Mana steel. Green color module. Okay. Uh, huh. Interesting. Arcane claymore. Okay. Uh, Lexica Batania, some other crap. Six strength and 39% heal amplification. <sighs> Interesting. Green color module can be installed by on helmet, chest plate, legs, or boots. Oh, okay. Uh, do I care about that? Mm, I'll hold on to it. Can I make anything else with it? Is it only for coloring? I don't think I can make anything with it. That's, I don't care about that. Let's get rid of that. Paladin Leggings has less durability, but it has some healing powder. Powder? Power. Huh, interesting. Can I craft anything with it? No, no, I cannot. Oh yeah, and I got the sword. 
Wow, plus two attack damage. It's 100% of the corresponding attribute as magic damage on hit. The corresponding attribute. What's the corresponding attribute? Well, that's a lot of information. Pass if you deal 100% of your arc arcane attribute as damage on hit. Can crit. Active spin in a direction, dealing 2.4 to 3.6 arcane damage per second. Anyway, enemies hitting the enemies gives you infusion buffs up to 5 stacks. Shift to stop moving. Okay. Uh... Your arcane attributes. I don't have an arcane attribute. What do you mean? Huh? Oh, uh, wait. I started a raid in a ocean village. Huh. Felt some thunderstrike. Pretty sure I already have that. Uh, rare necklace. Is this just going to be like village loot plus fish? This might actually be a great place to do raids. This guy's pooping emeralds. He's so scared that he's pooping emeralds. Now, these guys are getting wrecked. I do not have a spawn point set up, so I should be relatively careful. At least of the axe boys. But maybe pull out my shield and actually use it. Oh my Jesus. I think that was an axe boy and I don't think he really hurt that much. Interesting. Interesting. Oh yeah, I guess I do have diamond armor with relics now. And much higher stats. Wow, we are clearing waves of this so fast. <laughs> well, if we ever doing raids, this is the place to do them. Because they just spawn right here. Because there's literally nowhere else for them to spawn. I like this. What are you doing over there, bro? That's a sketchy place to stand. Interesting that raids aren't changed at all in this. This guy's got regeneration. And he hits really hard and from far away. Screw you, guy. Ow. Fine, I will shoot you. Ah, take that. First time I've used a bow. That's all my arrows. Can't even hit this bastard. There we go. There we go. What did he drop? A Ravager Horn? Huh. Hope that's more useful than a Goat Horn. No, my boat! Bonk. Well, I need 20 levels to be able to level up now. Jesus. Jesus Christo. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. That guy's a paladin of some kind. He froze me. I'm froze. Oh, I think my I think my health is nearly gone. I can't see because of the blue hearts. I don't know what's happening. I, I genuinely don't know what's happening right now. How am I still taking damage? What the fuck is going on? Can't see anything. Someone got shot. Who are you? How are you still here on my ass? Hello? What the hell was that? So I guess raids are different. It just doesn't kick in until later, later, uh, waves. Now ah, this is the frost mage over here. My health is low again. How? That was kind of sketchy. And there's another wave? Jesus, how many waves are there going to be? I'm getting back for this one. Alright, we can level up. Bish bash bosh. Give me the strength. Nice dude. Alright, let's go deal with these guys. Come on, bishes. Come from underneath. Come from the depths. Never saw me coming. I'm a ninja in the darkness. The dark, the dark depths. The depths of the dark. Aha! Well, I still gotta be slightly careful though. Oh, what the hell is a freezy boy? There's a freezy boy somewhere. These bitches have regeneration. Oh, there's a ravager. There's a guy on the back of the ravager. Did I get more arrows? Yes, good.
What's hurting me? The cold? Alright, God, I have a lot of innate healing as well, though. My health is healing very fast. Ah, here's the Frost Mage boy. Hello, my guy. Goodbye. There's another wave? Jesus. How many waves are there going to be? Hello, random ghost. My inventory is now full of crapola, so I should probably sort that out. Ravager horns seem pointless. Yeah, okay. Check those. Crappy ring. Some ice. All the other crap that I don't need. Don't know if I need the witch pupil, so I'll hold it for now, I guess. Hello, my Kapow. Oh, there's dolphins here now. Hooray for dolphins. Well, that guy had a scarred eye, like the guy that one shot me before. Oh. I found the beginning of an adventure. Did I get. I got an eye. I got a special kind of eye. Which is one of the ones that I think. Magical eye. Without this eye, the evoker has no power. Yeah, so this is like the eye that, um. One of the end remastered eyes to help us go to the end. That's nice. So we got our first one of those. The magicians. What is that? Kill all three illegitimate magicians. Okay. I am blind. I can't see anything. Hello? Kapow. Kapow. Anybody else? What is that? Oh, it's a fish. Where be the fishes? Now one witch in the distance trying to escape. You can't escape me, witch. There's another freaking wave. Are you kidding? How many waves are there? What the, the fork? That's a lot of dudes. Why is there a dolphin on land? Oh, my hunting went up to level three. You know, Frosty Boy, you're rather annoying. I, I must say. My durability is getting wrecked already. That is unfortunate. Sir. Oh, he's on land. He's got an evoker on his back. It's kind of sketchy. Really dead. I need to heal quite badly. Yeah, good thing I have these potions. That was a little sketchy there for a sec. How long am I going to freeze for? It doesn't even tell me. It just keeps going forever. What the hell, man? Get the fuck away from me. Fuck off. Fuck off. Why is this infinite? It's just slowly but surely going to kill me. What am I supposed to do about it? Fuck off. Like, actually, what do I do here? I'm nowhere near anything or anyone. Oh, wait. It might be the water that's giving me the freezing. <laughs> I thought it was the wizards, bro. It might be the water. I managed to level up again. Nice. Now I'm, I've been out of the water for a minute and I'm still freezing to death. Is this like weather based? What is this? I went back home and we seem to be fine now. What? What the hell, man? Let's sleep. All right, let's go finish this raid. Then I think it might be time to do some stuff with villagers because this raid has knocked down the durability on our gear pretty quickly. Which means, really, we, we want to find some mending and whatnot. To be honest. To be honest. And I forgot that it's not like our old craft, so it's it's much easier to do villagers, of course. I wonder if this guy can hit me from underneath. Yes? Yes, he can.
Oh, my health. What the fuck? I think I have a shitload of these health potions. I don't know. You know, you're annoying. You just get hit by my sword. Thank you. It's gonna be one last guy, right? Oh, another mermaid gem. Interesting. What does comfort do? Why does it not show the advancement? Oh wow, some good stuff in here. Wow, an iron golem's backpack. We don't really need that. I don't think there's actually any purpose in having that whatsoever. Legendary chest plate, twenty-eight percent attack damage. 14% strength, 21% dexterity, and 110... Wow, that's actually almost very good. The percentage for the uh, the strength apparently is letting it down, unfortunately. Maze map focus? What the heck is that? I kind of want an uncrafting table, but I, I don't know. Blank maze map. How do you get it in the first place, then? If the only way to get it is through uncrafting. Huh. Oh, someone dropped an efficiency three pickaxe. Cool. Wee. <laughs> like budget or <all> lighter. <laughs> Pink color module. Now that we might hold on to. Make something pink. Pog. A couple more data storage chips. Four strength. Some. Yeah, almost good, but not quite. Red bits guide. I don't know if that's something that's useful or not. Now, villagers need beds, right? Man, I need to learn how villagers work as well. Arcane spell blade does two thirds of the corresponding attribute damage as magic damage on hit. Huh, interesting. A novice wand cast fireball, but I don't know. Fireball. Frost clay. Is this also arcane? No, it's frost spell power. Yeah, for your frost attribute is damage on hit. Now that I think is a thing, right? Yeah, Frost. Oh, Arcane is there. Oh my god, I'm such a silly billy. I'm actually so thick. Interesting. Okay. So that's how those work. Basic machine frame. This could actually be useful. Advanced machine frame. Villagers and mods. That's what we got to figure out in the near future. Oh, mending. Is there a disenchantment table? Disenchant. There isn't disenchantment. Uh, enchant remover. I I don't know. Maybe there is. I'll take it just in case. Huh. What is this McJiggery pokery? Is this supposed to look like a? Is this supposed to look like a? What's this ship steering wheel called? Is this supposed to look like a ship steering wheel? Hmm. So you're looking at this eight armor. That's quite a lot of armor. Everlasting beef. Not consumed when eaten? Wait, what? Everlasting beef? <laughs> what the hell? 
I mean, cool. Can I cook it? Can it become like an everlasting beef stew? It can become everlasting cooked beef. Eternal steak. Well, let's cook this baby up. No need for all this goddamn bread anymore. Maybe it can use, be used to breed villagers. Everlasting beef. That is fucking hilarious. I have eternal beef. Oh, more everlasting beef. Just in case I... My... I, just in case I'm so hungry that I eat my entire everlasting beef. What the fuck? Who comes up with this shit? Oh, this is where all the booty is kept. Damn. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All of the stuff. Ooh, rune gleam boots. Increase your arcane spell power. Interesting. Flaming spell blade. Death chill inquisitor boots. Huh. Interesting. Well, they're not actually that hard to make. Ooh, three data storage chips and a couple more advanced machine frames, which I have a feeling are going to be useful, right? It's alloy plate, carbon plate. I don't know what any of this stuff is. So I'm going to assume, yes, finding this is useful. Another runic tablet, but I still don't know what those are even for. So many things that I don't know what they do. All right, that's all the loot from the village. And then we've got some loot over here. So we're going to quickly check that. And then our storage is full again. So we're probably going to head home quickly. And maybe start looking to sort out the villagers. He is eager to come with me, apparently. Well, we were about to head off in the waystone. And then we saw this over here. I'm thinking it might be something cool. But it's not that cool. It's just a graveyard that we are going to... Steal stuff from. Looting one. I guess we'll take that. I guess. Any loots into this grave? No, just the skull. Loots? Yeah. I see you got some loots. Mm, some lapis. Nice. We actually need lapis. And another vein mining book. I'll take it. Yes, and then the other thing was that there was another village here whose waystone I wanted to steal so that I didn't have to use up my last waystone. Blue obsidian. What's the benefit of the obsidian bleeing ble ble blue? Gold mending shovel. Okay. Ooh, what's this over here? Some kind of creepy weird spider's nest. Cobweb entanglement. Discover a spider cave. Asurine. What is the benefit of a spider cave, I wonder? Oh, it seems like we got the, one of those floating villages here as well. Was that? Wait, this is the original floating village. Shit. Didn't I see a non floating village right here? Or am I out of my mind? A chest. Oh, this chest is kind of full. And it's got sacks or pouches. There's a normal village here. Nice. And it does have a waste and I can steal. Nice. Well, I guess technically I'm going to use this one. I'm going to steal their apples, though. All right. Inventory management time again. Hooray. All right. We're running out of time here, but I think we should at least start making the first step towards this. Uh, this being villagers. And also, I just realized I don't have a place to put them. Do I put them underground? Do I build a second floor? Honestly, I think we put them underground. I can't really be bothered to build them a zone right now. Let's get a couple of villagers. We'll just, we'll start by getting, oh, hey guy. Jesus. So we'll start by getting a couple and just using those couple to experiment and figure out how villagers work again, just to remind ourselves. And then I think uh, next episode we'll probably uh, be where we get things really going with the old villagers and maybe maybe look at starting a mod or two as well hunting post hunting post huh what is that what does a hunting post make you sell probably should have checked before putting anything it'd be cool if you could like make them do stuff for you like oh you're a hunter cool automate hunting 
You're coming with me, whatever your name is. Hel Helga. Hmm, how do I get them up? Oh, wait a minute. I am being a silly billy. Come on, Helga. Come to the Emerald Block. Where'd you go? What the heck? I'm trying to run back to your village or something? Brr. This way. There you go. Alright, for now we'll just stick you in there. Although we're going to need to give you a lectern, aren't we? To give you a job. Did I pick up any lecterns? I don't think I did. Alright. Lectern. Alright, we got ourselves a librarian. Hello there, what do you sell? Spell power 5. Now, they don't have a rotating mod, unfortunately. Oh, but I also have reduced prices because of the, uh, the villager hat that I'm wearing. Which is kind of cute. I think we could cure them and get like infinite book trade. Spells are free to cast. That sounds kind of pog. It's cheap though. And I also don't have any spells, so we're going to ignore that for now. Fast hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> Fortune one for only one emerald. You know, it's kind of tempting. Is that only one emerald? Nah, we can get better than fortune one. We're getting... We're getting carried away. Long-footed. Increase the distance of your rolls. Huh. Interesting. Aqua affinity. Vein mining. I got a couple of those already, though. You're not going to need a bunch. Aerial affinity. Huh. Efficiency one. Come on, give me some higher higher levels of the stuff. I feel like I should have taken that fortune one. Because you don't need to get that many fortunes either. Still heat from your enemies when attacking. What are you... Oh, wait. I was freezing in a fight. So I guess... Stealing enemies heat. Oh, would it also deal damage to them? Because the cold was killing me. Would the cold kill them? Interesting. Power four. Now I will take that. We will, we will, we will take that. Why not? That's a good trade to lock in. Power four, trade complete. Oh yeah, wait, how do we get them to level up? That's something my eye. We have to get them all the way up to level them up, don't we? I have to buy a bunch of bookshelves. Interesting. All right, well, let's go get another villager and repeat the process. Alright, who's our next victim? Who are we kidnapping this time? Huh, I wonder if taking a guard would be... Probably not. Probably... Would be different. Oh! What do you got there, buddy? Nothing? Alright, we'll take you. We'll take you and your lectern, too. Back here, sir. Or wait. Jetta. Ma'am, sorry. 2023, shouldn't assume. Oh, wait a minute. I can get in the boat with a villager in my hand. You know what that means. <gasps> oh my god, I'm such a silly billy. <laughs> well, that makes things even easier. Okay. What are you looking at? Oh, I've equipped the apple to my face. Oops. <laughs> It actually puts it on your face, bruh. You ruined my ruined my joke. What are you looking at? Never seen a stack of villagers before, bruh. <laughs> uh, my joke got ruined by a different joke. Well, it wasn't really a joke. It was more just me looking like a joke with an apple on my face. And right, we want to start from as high up to the top as we can, because they will fall. In fact, maybe we just build up to them. I think that might be a better option here. How do I get you to stop being a wizard? You're not near your wizard station anymore. Wait, do I have to go back and break your wizard station? This is the only unemployed one, and it's all the way at the bottom. Hmm. The stack will fall. Oh well. Kind of hoping they just fall into the boat, but okay. Wait, does that mean this is your station now? Wait a minute. How did you guys get all the way over there? What are you... Stop running this way, dude. 
Right, get on the boat. There you go. Okay. Okay, so we'll we'll deal with you guys later. Depth Strider 2. Now I really want to get the tier three, like the highest tier versions of things, because otherwise the enchanting is gonna get very expensive. Death Rider 2 is not too bad. I think uh, I think that'll be okay. I don't want to do more than like five combinations of something. No, more than. I don't want to get anything less than the second top tier of something, if that makes sense. Unless it's like fortune and it goes on the tool and it's not very much. All right, well, we got a couple of villagers, but we are out of time here. So we have uh, we've made decent progress. We are we are making good headway on some stuff and things. And um, we're going to be finishing off villagers. And we're going to be also uh, starting to work on some mods next episode, I think. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. And it's always great to see you in the comments. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.